outside and uh, we can take a live look out on downtown Indianapolis this morning. Peek at the right side of your screen and you will see the temperatures, yes, but you'll also see sort of persistent use of those little cloud icons there. That's why we're a bit worried about eclipse viewing today mm. and why you should watch carefully both through daybreak and on the uh, app for your smartphone as well to see how the uh, day develops cloud-wise. Our local coverage continues with the morning's business headlines. Indiana University in Bloomington is welcoming a record-breaking class this year. Jane King's live at the NASDAQ with that and a lot more. Good morning. Yes, Scott Lord, good morning. Yes, IU Bloomington welcoming a record 7,995 beginning students when classes begin today. Now, that is a 1.5% increase from the previous record, which was set in the fall of 2015. And nearly 4,400 Indiana high school graduates are in the first year group of students that are going to IU. That's the largest group of Indiana high school grads beginning their college career on any college campus. Well, Apple could make it impossible for police to unlock the iPhone. The New York Post says iOS 11. So that's the new software update that's coming. We'll have a privacy feature that lets you automatically disable Touch ID in just a few seconds, securing your device and preventing anyone from forcing you to access your phone by using your fingerprint. Now, Apple hasn't spent any time really talking about this new privacy tool, but iOS 11 is expected to come uh, sometime in September to our devices. And Walmart stores has plans to take on Amazon. Listen to this. Fortune reports the world's largest retailers applied for a patent for a floating warehouse. It could make deliveries via drones, which would bring products from the aircraft down to shoppers' homes. Now, the Bloom-style machine would fly at heights between 500 and 1,000 feet. It would have multiple launching bays and be operated autonomously or by a remote human pilot. Okay, the national average for a gallon of regular unleaded slipped a penny this week. It uh, did drop to 234. AAA maintains that gas prices will seesaw or hold steady in the coming weeks as crude inventories head down and gas inventories likely head up. Now, in central Indiana, AAA says the average price for regular and let it is 221 a gallon. Well, as you can imagine, because Wall Street studies everything in depth, analysts took a look at other eclipses and found no correlation between eclipses in the past and stock market activity. Still, stocks did fall further on Friday to end a rough week. Bad news from the sporting goods retailers weighed on the market, so the Dow, the biggest loser there, down 76 points. And we're looking, well, let's say flat for the start of things today. I think everybody's going to be watching the eclipse later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Live from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Yeah, and Jane, you mentioned the eclipse. Of course, our coverage, well, the eclipse has dominated our coverage here this morning on Daybreak. Let's talk about some of the oh, potential yeah. issues that might be out there for the for internet service. Yeah, well, of course, the last time that this happened across the entire continent was 99 years ago. So we did not have the Internet at that time. And now 95% of American adults have a mobile phone. So many people expected mm. to share and tweet and live stream the event today. Some are asking if the Internet will just buckle under all this usage. <laughs> Some Internet providers have moved in special temporary towers uh, to handle wow. all of this uh, excess Internet usage that's expected later today. Are you going to do anything special for it, Jane? I'm going to go watch. I have my glasses. Yeah, So good. my glasses oh, cool. are ready. I'm, I'm going to have lunch with some friends, maybe see the start of it when that's done, and then watch it. 2.44 is what time is supposed okay. to be the peak here in New York. So, cool. Yeah. I, I'm just so yeah. excited about it. I've never seen anything just, like this. I mean, it's you know? so and interesting. Super yeah. stoked. All right. Thanks, Jane. 726. Okay. Thanks. Next, right. our team coverage of weather and traffic will continue.